Hey, welcome back to another electrical video. Today I'm going to be looking at adding my inverter to my electrical system. So, so far in the series we looked at wiring up my battery bank, wiring up my VSR, wiring up my 12 volt fuse box, my solar controller, and now the last sort of main component of that electrical system is the inverter. As usual, before I say anything, I am not an electrician, I'm not qualified in any way to give advice on electrical systems. I don't really have any experience with electrical systems. Um, everything I've learned has been through research um, and through advice. So as before, here's my wiring diagram. So this is the section we're gonna be doing today. Again, it's very similar to how I wired up the solar controller and the 12 volt fuse box. Um, negative wires go straight to the negative bus bar the positive wire to the positive bus bar but I've got a kill switch and a 100 amp fuse just to protect the, the system so you could use a circuit breaker here which will essentially do the same thing and it means less cuts in the wire but um, I opted for the two components you can see there at the back of the inverter I've got a consumer unit we won't be doing that today I'll just be wiring up the inverter itself I've chosen a 100 amp fuse because I'm using 16 millimeter cable which has an amp rating of 110 amps so 100 amps is slightly less than that, so the fuse will blow before we get anywhere near that 110 amps. So let's have a look at the components I'm gonna be using today. So I've got a Victron Pure Sine Wave 12 by 800 Phoenix inverter. Um, I've got a kill switch, I've got a 100 amp fuse and fuse holder. I've got a couple meters of 16 millimeter red and black cable. Um, I've got a mixture of eight millimeter and 10 millimeter cable lugs. Um, and then I've got some heat shrink for the ends of the wires. So what is an inverter? That's an inverter. So what an inverter does is, um, so obviously I'm working with a 12 volt system. My electrical system is 12 volt direct current, which means it gets a constant flow of 12 volts. And then obviously this powers things like my fridge, 12 volt lights, my diesel heater, my fans, basically they all rely on direct current 12 volts. Now for things that you plug in in a socket, so say like phone charger, laptops, TVs, things like that, they rely on a alternating current. Um, so what this inverter does is it takes 12 volt direct current, converts it into 230 volt alternating current. Um, now these numbers here simply means 12 volts and then the maximum amount of watts it will take, so 800 watts. So what I did was I um, got all the uh, uh, appliances, the AC appliances that I'll be using, got all their watt it, watt it, got all their watts, wattages, watts, wattages, watts, wattages, added them together, um, and so 800 watts was um, sort of more than enough for me. So I'm gonna fix everything down onto my housing, and then we'll look at wiring it up. Done, so that's in place. Um, the only thing I haven't fixed down is my kill switch because I'm gonna wire it up first and then plonk it through the hole. So yeah, you can see, look, it takes a positive and negative cable. It's got an earth cable there. And then out the back, if I lift this up, you can see it's got a socket for the AC output. So basically like a consumer unit like this would come out the back um, and then I'd wire all my plug sockets coming out of that um, consuming unit. But as I said, I'm not going to do that today. I'm literally just going to wire up the inverter. I'm going to get some, I'm going to measure up and get some cables cut. Got my wires cut, so now I'm just going to strip them with this, this little thing. Right, stripped, so now I'm gonna crimp. Crimped. Then you wanna make sure you put heat shrink over it first, because sometimes it won't fit over the edge. So all my cables crimped, so now I'm gonna get the heat gun out. Um, and melt the heat shrink over the edge. Mm. 
you'll notice that a couple of my crimps have got um, right angles on. It's because it's quite deep in there, so it doesn't, um, if I use a flat one, there's not enough space for it to bend around in the kill switch. So I've got these little right angle ones. Cool, so let's get wiring up, I guess. So first of all, before um, screwing it down, I'm gonna wire up, put the two cables on the end of the kill switch and then um, fit them through the hole. Unlike these two kill switches where I had to manually write what they are, there is actually an inverter one. So I'm gonna stick that on now. Yeah. So the first cable I'm gonna connect is from the ground to my negative bus bar. Now, if you remember, um, I've grounded this, I've earthed this bus bar to my vehicle chassis. So that means all the other ground wires can connect to this, this negative bus bar and it'll, earth, it'll, it'll act as a ground for them as well. So that's in there. Obviously you can just use a screwdriver to um, pin it down. And then I'm gonna virtually do the same thing with a negative wire over to the negative bus bar as well. So it's negative wire, ground cable. Um, so now I'm gonna go positive underneath to my kill switch. And now I'm gonna connect my kill switch to my fuse. And whilst I'm down here, I'm gonna connect my final cable that's gonna to go to my positive bus bar. So there we go. Um, so to recap, grounded to the negative bus bar, negative terminal, again to negative bus bar. Positive bus bar goes to fuse, fuse to kill switch, kill switch to positive. Unfortunately, this is one of the only Victron products I bought that doesn't have Bluetooth like included. Need to get like a separate little dongle, but let's turn it on. So, on, uh, check it out, there's a green light, there's obviously a lot more electrical stuff I need to do, um, I need to wire a consumer unit into there which does the plug sockets, I need to wire my diesel heater, I need to do all sorts, but the last video in this little series I'm going to do is the 12 volt lights. I figured that would be a nice little uh, nice little finisher. So that's coming up next. Um, if you've got any questions or anything, ping me a comment or an email or whatever, I'll get back to you. Yeah, see you soon.